when we talk about our engagement in the Asia Pacific, uh, we really are looking at a model of partnership that reflects our shared values, delivers practical benefits, and helps create stronger economies and societies. Uh, our goal is to help the uh, island nations uh, of the Pacific uh, realize their own aspirations, meet your own goals. Uh, and therefore, we are working on everything from expanding economic opportunity to protecting the environment to fighting gender-based violence. Uh, and we particularly honor the sacrifice that many of our Pacific partners are making uh, to bring peace and security to war-torn areas around the globe, including places like Afghanistan and Sudan. Now, I know there are those who see America's renewed engagement over the last three and a half years in the Pacific uh, perhaps as a hedge. Uh, against particular countries. But the fact is, as I said this morning, the United States welcomes cooperation with a number of partners, including Japan, the European Union, China, and others. Uh, the Pacific is big enough for all of us. We share a common interest in advancing peace, security, and prosperity in this vital region. So we are doubling down in two areas. We already work closely with our partners on a range of transnational and maritime security issues, including crime, trafficking in persons, nuclear nonproliferation, disaster response, and preparedness. But the two that I want to highlight today are the first is maritime awareness. Under our Shiprider program, Ships and aircraft from the U.S. Coast Guard host law enforcement officers from Pacific Island nations to patrol their own maritime areas. The benefits can be significant. Since just 2009, for example, this program has helped Kiribati net more than $4 million in fines for illegal fishing. Now we're working to expand our ship rider partnerships to include the United States Navy in addition to the United States Coast Guard. This will allow countries to take advantage of U.S. Navy ships that are already in the region or are transiting through the region to get help enforcing their own laws. Additionally, we are working with Australia, New Zealand, and France to strengthen our Pacific Maritime Surveillance Partnership, which puts a particular focus on fisheries. All of these steps will help strengthen regional law enforcement and promote security, with the goal of making sure that the people of the region benefit from your abundant ocean resources.